Good, good. We first met the precocious four-year-old back in 1998. Her parents, Angie and Dennis, trying to find a cure for Janice's rare genetic disease, neurofibromatosis. <laughs> Doctors were amazed she could walk at all. Despite the painful condition, Janice was all smiles and loved to play. A year and a half later, a different story. Janice was in chronic pain, having undergone another life-saving surgery to have the tumors removed from her spine. Her only wish that year was to be home for Christmas. I just want sort to of give up and... Can you? No. And just carry on working. And... They didn't give up, despite Janice's constant suffering. It's about pokes and bedays and... Hospital stays. The beads around her neck represent the operations, the procedures, the CAT scans, the MRIs Janice endured, all by the age of eight. Do you feel pain day to day? Um, not every day, but once a day. But not one for sympathy. It was this year Janice decided to give back, raising $160 for Variety, the children's charity. <laughs> By her ninth birthday, Janice had a lofty goal and solicited our help. Like one million dollars. It is the goal she continues to strive for, and in 2003, the money started rolling in. People from Victoria to Port Hardy to Fino to Nanaimo rounded up their loose change to support Janice. Yeah, I got four dollars in here. Every penny and every dollar went to a huge total that year. And the totals have risen every year since. In 2004, she raised $30,000. In 2005... 52,053. In 2006, the total was $59,000. And in 2007... 96317 dollars but her efforts don't end there. Janice also lost her locks to raise money for the Tour de Rock. For all her fundraising, she was honored with the Community Achievement Award at Government House. All this while she struggles with pain. In total, she's raised $645,000. And while Janice prepares to undergo another major surgery, her Christmas wish this year is to reach her $1 million goal.